Hey everybody, I'm David E. Dallison. I'm a professional painter. I travel the world making paintings. I'm in Canta, Vietnam. It's the heart of the Mekong River. It's an amazing place. I was here 15 years ago. I remember it being beautiful, and I've just arrived to explore it through paint. Look at this. So many times when I'm out painting, people walk up to me and they say, so what do you do for a living? I say to them, I paint. And they go, well, what do you really do for a living? I say, I paint. Uh, I'm blessed. I have a father who made his living as an artist. I have a brother who makes his living as an artist. I make my living as an artist. It's a struggle. You have to be driven to do it. But that's what I do, and that's all I do. There's certain things that need to come together for me to want to stop and paint. I need a, a somewhat of a narrative quality. I need something that is just purely aesthetically beautiful. You know, it's few and far between. I might spend hours driving through the countryside looking for something that's really gonna grab me. I love the mystery of the morning. You know, there's just something about the softness and all the darks, you don't quite know what's in them. The shadows all sort of link together in the bottoms of these boats, and it just creates this myriad of pattern and kind of a mosaic. And it, I guess it creates an energy, right? It's the energy of our life. I've always wanted, when I've been on the road, to be able to find a way to bring to people the experience I'm having on the road. I put myself in a highly public place. To me, this is actually comfort. I love being around this stuff that I don't know anything about. When I'm working like this, I'm almost invisible but I'm a bit of a freak as well, so people will gather around me and watch me paint, and I love that. To me, my art is about a lot more things than just the painting. It's about this exchange of culture, and the culture isn't necessarily what's on the canvas. Voila! So we're out here on a boat at the Canton Market, and um, I'm just trying to get a feel for what's going on here and to see what would be appropriate for me to paint. For me to, to, to paint everything that's here, I don't think it really tells the story. I'm looking for specific things. I'm looking for a bit of individualism. I'm looking for pure aesthetic, color. The fruit on the boat and the vegetables and all the patterning of that, that's what I'm interested in. So I just sort of stand up and look around and when I find a scene that has a, a, a blend of those things, that'll be my, my nucleus to start a painting. We've got laundry drying on the back of the boat here, catching the warm morning rays, freshly washed in this lovely green Mekong River. <laughs> does tide get those stains out? The real tide does. <laughs> so these are basically car engines <laughs> on a stick, and they've got them so leveraged that that guy can move that thing around. It's balanced so he can lift it out of the water and move it around like it's a feather. And the eyes on these boats back here they're, they make the boat protected. They, they, they feel very important to these fishermen that they have those, boat, those eyes on there. So this is the house I'm painting that these people live on the water, and this is their home. This is day in, day out. This isn't a weekend retreat. This is their life. And this lady's been kind enough to let us walk into her life, just to have a little look around. They almost always have a shrine. She's got her children's drawings on the wall. It's beautiful. And back here we have her kitchen. And that's it. It's a two-room house with a toilet. And you can see where she cooks. She has a room with a view. And this is life on the Mekong. And these are happy people. I don't exaggerate. So I'm just looking at the paintings that I've created so far on this trip. I've been here for three weeks, and I've been pounding it hard. You know, a lot of people have this impression that when the artist is sitting out there in the field, he's got his easel and his umbrella, that it's sort of meditative and it's soulful and it's relaxing. 
It may be some of that stuff, but the reality is I have to make kick-ass paintings. They have to be able to get on a gallery in America, a gallery wall, and if people walk in there and want to shell out a thousand bucks to buy my art. So part of why I love to travel is I go to a place that I know nothing about and I jump into the culture. I show up in a place I know nothing about and I know within about a week I'm going to feel like I kind of belong there. And the world welcomes me. I show up with my easel, I sit down and I paint, and we have this amazing simpatico thing going on, and I've never found a country that doesn't offer me that. Today we'll just do a beautiful little painting. It has a lot of beautiful colors in it, and we just will have a good time. Okay. 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 Come on.